Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will cover the independent sample test which is the last test in this series of statistical tests I was explaining which is chi-square test, one sample test and paired sample t-test which is available over here in the statistics chart wizard. So let's talk about the final one which is independent sample t-test. So as the test saying that it is independent samples t-test that means samples that you are taking is independent to each other in the last example if you recall and if you have seen that video it was paired that means it's the same sort of objects but you applied some sort of catalyst and saw and wanted to see the impact and whether uh, the behavior is changing significantly after applying the catalyst so i'll encourage that you and go and visit if you have not already seen the paired sample t-test to understand uh, what that mean is which I just explained about catalyst and impact and change All right, so let's come back to independent sample. So samples are independent to each other and Some small explanation that this test helps us identifying whether two independent groups of observations are similar or not by evaluating their mean or average so an example is that a school principal is interested in identifying whether the student of class 9A, so A is basically section, and that's what we generally call it here in India, but maybe in your country it may be a little different, but we have a section like 9A, 9B, 9C, and the idea or the example is that principal is interested in identifying whether the students of class 9A are equally good as 9B. So 9A students and 9B students are independent of each other. They have different skills and different uh, sort of learning and you know uh, learning is same but their mindset their uh, grasping power and everything is is independent of each other because every personality is different right so that's why this is an independent test and uh, the idea is generally 9 is considered uh, superior than 9b so we want to do this test and figure it out whether class 9a and 9b is equal to each other or different than each other that means it can be on the lower side or it can be upper side and this is basically a two-tailed test which you say so here we have framed two hypotheses the null hypothesis is that there is no change between 9a and 9b and alternative hypothesis is that there is a difference between the students of 9a and 9b by looking at their marks which they have recently got all right so let's go into tools and do this testing and we want to do the independent sample t-test and next so we want to specify the class as our grouping field because 9a and 9b are two different groups that's what we want to specify and marks underscore 9 is basically marks for ninth class we want to specify over here and we want to specify t d f p standard error everything here in this case and we want to test this result at 95 degree confidence level that means at 95 degree confidence level you can say that it is true and there is just 5 percent error margin all right so let's click finish but all of these different terms i would encourage that you look at statistics any any um, book or online on google somewhere and evaluate these terms but what we will basically looking in the test is t d and p so t value degree of freedom and p value all right so when you do the t-testing uh, there are two assumptions that it makes equal variance that means uh, the variance between these two groups are equal and there are not equal variance well if you are not aware about this no worries i mean uh, we will just look at the result uh, to to understand how we need to conclude it and basically I was interested in showing that uh, how you can utilize the statistics chart wizard but if you want to understand what this mean then refer to any statistic book or refer to Google uh, to understand what what uh, it basically means so uh, as I said that uh, we were going to look at a couple of parameters like t test degree of freedom and sign two tail test so let's let's look at the degree of freedom and t test because that will going to tell us the result so here in this case if i do a round figure we are saying that almost 90 degree of freedom we are getting a t test value as minus 2.941 and since it is two tailed 
then uh, we need to look at the t table and identify the two tailed uh, t value at a 95 degree confidence level so if the value uh, is within the range the 2.491 is within the range that we will see in the table then we will going to accept the hypothesis if the value is beyond the range of the values of t table then we will reject it so what that i mean uh, let me go here we say at 90 degree of freedom it is two tailed so two tail is here 0 0.05 95 degree freedom and at 90 degree of freedom it is 2.093 so this is plus minus 2.9 2.093 in case of both tailed or two tailed so this value minus 2.491 is beyond minus 2.093 and then we can conclude that these two groups are different than each other so as you can recall and maybe you can go back and uh, see about the question the hypothesis question that we framed the null hypothesis was that these two classes the students of these two classes are equal that means they are getting similar marks and the alternative hypothesis was that they are getting different marks either either more either less but they are getting different marks so that's that's the test we did and we concluded that our alternative hypothesis is true which is that students are getting different marks well that's the one equal variance not assumed but when equal variance is assumed you get the degree of freedom 22 and that's where we need to test again this value so let's do this testing again if i go down a little bit we have 22 degrees of freedom and we need to look at here 22 degrees of freedom and 2.074 so 22 degrees of freedom 2.074 that's the standard t value we are getting in plus and minus so plus 2.074 minus 2.074 and then we are getting the value as 2. Point, minus 2.491 again which is beyond minus 2.704 and in this case also we will conclude that our alternative hypothesis that these two groups output or the test output or these students in these two different uh, classes of section are different uh, with each other so that's how you can do the testing of independent samples and uh, give the outcome back to your principal or whomsoever the research authority is with the facts and figures well for other statistics i would strongly recommend you look at any statistics book and further interpret it but idea was in this video to give you the information how you can configure the statistics chart wizard and then little bit about how you can interpret the result with the help of the t table so that's that's pretty much all and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic